What is up, GOAT world? It is me, your boy JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another GOAT format video. Today is Father's Day, so I made a special deck dedicated to all the dads out there, but first, if you paid attention to my last top 10 video, Editor DZ dropped another sweepstakes on you guys. So if you signed up for that, the winner will be revealed right now. And here we are at the sweepstakes. So we're gonna see who won. And this goes out to the realest of the real ones who paid attention and put the right comments in. I painstakingly went through all the comments of that video, and I put in everyone who put absurd or ridiculous and here are the contestants so as always i'm going to spin this thing one time and that person will win the lost art zambira the dark coming up right now and spin it and the winner is gonna be patrick donald 4271 you have 48 hours after the release of this video to reach out to me in Discord to claim your prize. Thanks for being a real one and thank you for watching the channel. Back to the show. And I hope you guys enjoy the sweepstakes. They're a lot of fun. I love giving my stuff away. If you like participating, continue to pay attention and watch all the videos. Make sure you have your notification bells because you never know when one is going to drop. But enough of that. Here is the deck we're going to be playing today. Today, I am going to be playing Armed Dragon Level 7. The ultimate and the all powerful. The Level 7 Armed Dragon. I went through the carpool and I tried to find a good dad deck, but I realized we don't have a lot of dad type cards in our format. Ooh. But if you pay attention to other formats in Yu-Gi-Oh, there is a card that comes out later and his name is Dark Arm Dragon and it's very frequently referred to as dad. Well, guess what? Without this guy, the arm dragon, there won't be a dark arm dragon. So this guy is like the dad of dad. I'm, I know I'm stretching here, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So real quick, we'll do a, we'll check out the deck and I'll try to explain what I'm trying to do here. So I have the arm dragon level seven. Okay, this card is absolutely ass. I'm not gonna lie. Dark Arm Dragon is leaps and bounds and worlds, worlds, worlds better than this card could ever think about dreaming of being. It is absolutely horrible, so much so that the Arm Dragon level five is significantly better in almost every way. 400 less attack, but you have more defense. For some reason, your defense goes down as your levels go up, which yeah. I just will never for the life of me understand why this card has 1000 defense and the picture just looks kind of bad, but the card, hey, he's, he's dad's grandfather, he's dad's first being so i gotta go ahead and put this guy in here i'm gonna play three level fives like i said because this card is just better so I, I'm, I'm gonna throw that guy in there and i have two of level threes i didn't want to go max out on level threes because i feel like drawing that thing just feels so bad and i have multiple ways to kind of search this thing to the field through battle and i have full copies of the uh, flying kamikari number one and i have three copies of the mass dragon so i'm playing like a recruiter kind of deck so basic recruiter strategies i got creature swaps i have smashing ground i have brain control and then hopefully i can either attack for the arm dragon or i can use their effects to float into the arm dragon level three bring out the level five and just get to the beat down and hopefully that's good enough you know sometimes that's just good enough um but sometimes it's, it's not you know this is goat format at the end of the day and also i want to play three gk spies it's just the best card in the format and it, f and it fits well in this deck so i'm gonna throw that in there uh looking at this deck i think looking at these flying kamikaris i kind of want to actually uh, this Sinister Servant really isn't doing much because I did not read Arm Dragon level 7 in a long time until I got this. I thought you just had to discard a monster and just blow them all up, but it still has to have a higher attack. So I'm actually going to cut the Sinister Serpent and I'm going to put in Sasuke. I'm going to put in Sasuke Samurai. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this guy in because he kind of fits the theme a little bit. He's another target to grab with the um, with the Flying Kamikari. And he does have that 1200 stat line, which is kind of important in his deck because it says you have to discard a, you have to discard a monster card, which is already ridiculous. And it has to be equal to or lower than the card that you discard. So I think that 1200 is kind of the threshold and it kind of works well with my extra mass dragons and my Flying Kamikaris. Because if I do get this level seven out and I discard one of these recruiters, I can pop all the GK spies and continue to assault my adversary, hopefully. And 14 is kind of the cutoff you can hit the koi cheese you can hit you know certain things but again it is what it is so the deck is not the best deck maybe i can play decree in the main deck too but i think this is pretty this is this is okay uh looking at the side deck it's uh it's kind of just stuff i want to play for the ladder i have the mobiuses for burn i have the cyberstein because that's another theory that i tried a while back and i'm gonna bring it back because there's so much reason to get on the ladder sometimes if you just play cyberstein and bring out the last word from another planet that's just enough to stop the reasoning gate in its tracks and they just can't play a card and they'll just lose on the spot sometimes and i want to put morphin jar in my side deck just going second just give 
give me an opportunity to just blow up my opponent because I know this deck is kind of slow. I'm going to get behind, and maybe I can have a card that can catch me back up. And I also wanted to add the power of the Stern Mystic and also the Immortal of Thunder simply because these guys look like dads. I was going through all the card pools trying to figure out cards that look like that, and this guy looks like a dad. Like he, this is definitely someone's parent right here. This is definitely someone's dad, and this guy looks literally like my own dad. So I had to put Bruh. this guy in here, and I thought that was uh, I thought that was an open and shut case. So those are two staples in the side deck for this deck. Got to play it, and then you got the trap to shoot. Uh, when I'm going first, sometimes I'll throw those in there and Royal Decree because there is a lot of burn on the ladder as well. So I am taking this deck on the ladder and I'm going to see if I can peel off a dub for Father's Day Duelist. Let's go to all the goat dads out there. We're going to set this bad boy as default. We're going to lock in. But as we're locking in, make sure you go ahead and lock in on that like button and leave a like. Turn your notification bell on because you never know when there's going to be a giveaway. You have to watch the videos. You have to watch the streams. These things are happening all the time. You want a free, this is your free entry and you can get out there and, uh, and participate. All right, so I'm playing against Lucas, 56, and I'm drawing a five. One, two, three, four, five. Paper gang, let's go, stand up. And I was crushed immediately by scissors, dude. The, the, the ops, dude, they're too strong. The scissor, the scissor army is too strong out there. As I will give some HF to my opponent, as my hand is trap heavy, I got this GK Spy, I need it to go off. GK Spy already, I'm on the struggle bus. I got double dust tornado, GK Spy dueling, I need them not to shoot me, and I need the GK Spy to go off, or I'm going to lose. That is where we're at already. I'm already struggling. To start this game but you never know maybe i can uh maybe i can pop something off with this tt perhaps as i draw oh, i got pot of greed that makes everything better that makes everything better as i will go ahead and rip it rip it and dip it add two tribe and mass dragon um i could set this thing for a tt and maybe that's their gk spy but i'm actually going to send this mass dragon out see if i can uh get some aggression on this decoichi perhaps let's go decoichi let's go decoichi it's serpent okay we're chilling with serpent and i'm gonna go ahead and set one and forget it not gonna put the tt behind my mass dragon because i would like to get this thing attacked it's probably not gonna happen um they're realistically they're gonna hammer shot wow they're big city dueling they are big city dueling with the hammer shot technique they did leave their sentence of servant so they're not big city dueling that hard they're dueling they're they're mid city they're 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 mid major city dueling in the free world as they set one and i know it's not that center serpent so that's peculiar and i brick on this thing i knew what's going to happen holy smokes i knew it was going to happen i totally totally knew that it was going to happen um i'm gonna get this thing knocked already just to get it over with i'm gonna get it over with because i'm i'm just so sick of it dude i'm gonna set it and get it knocked and get it over with I haven't hammer shot it in a really long time, by the way. That was a nice little hammer shot. As let's see what's happening here as they enter into the standby phase. They're gonna grab him this time. Okay. They're gonna bring him back this time. As I got the GK spy down and they got the knock. Okay. To be expected. We'll lose them all. Let's see if they take any out of their deck. So they're not big city dueling because they didn't lose any GK spies. And they're flipping to Koichi. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I'm probably gonna take 14. They said another, and I'll take the 14. I'll take the 14. Cool. And I will draw. Cool. I got premature burial. So that's pretty neat. I can think about this for a sec. Let's think about this. Let's let's really, really ponder on how I wanna how I wanna do this. I still wanna kinda take it slow. I do want to premature, get the mask, pop the decoichi. I got mask, I got a search. I can attack into the other set with a search. Is that big city dueling or is that small town dueling? I don't know. I think that might be, I think that might be big city dueling. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try to get this off. We're gonna go 800, which is great for these, all these recruiters being at 14 is really cool. So I'll get back the mass dragon. I will then battle into the boy. We're gonna smack him. I guess I could have tribute it and got this damn dark arm dragon online, but I figure they're not spy dueling. So maybe they are, um, Maybe they are, you know, just playing smaller, smaller guys. Okay, get this guy. I can't, I cannot get that. I'm tripping. I am bugging. As they get back, the Magician of Faith, they might hammer shot me again, dude. Double hammer shot dueling is insanity. Yeah, I can't really do anything about it. Now that'd be dumb. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to end and get hammer shot it. As they're not playing GK Spy, they got a hammer shot. Cool. I haven't been hammer shot it twice in a really long time. They're not setting much back row, which is okay-ish, okay adjacent. Wait till they go to end phase. I'm gonna jam this dust tornado. And wait till they go to end phase. And now I'll go ahead and jam the dust tornado. We'll pop. It is Royal Decree. So they are Royal. And we'll get some info about their deck too. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna slam this thing on normal. And I will attack into this. So they're big city Royal Decree dueling, which is cool. I'm gonna set another, I'm gonna set another dust tornado and just maybe they'll keep setting. But they got a, they got a decree down there, which is cool. That's cool to see. I'm all about seeing some Royal Decree. Not even gonna lie. If they keep setting this serpent, then I'm eventually I'm gonna tribute this Flame Kamakari for the dark the arm dragon level five, attack it, and then bring out arm dragon level seven and 
they can't win after that. After that happens, I don't think they can win. I think their win condition is done. Um, is there a world where I wait on that or do I just send it, huh? I think I got, I can't get too cute because I will lose. I'm sure if they're playing uh, Royal Decree, they're probably playing scapegoat meta stuff. So I'm actually on a no one cross out this Sinister Serpent, if that's in fact what it is. Hopefully it is. It's Magician of Faith number two. Uh, I don't think I play it. Let me shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, I don't play it. So that's cool. Do I smack him for, do I smack him for 14? No, I'm gonna smack him for 14. I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep the guy. I'm gonna keep the guy in hand. I think I could have hit him for 24 right there. But I'm gonna keep it in hand because I want to hit him for the effect so I can get out my guy. This is this is Father's Day, dude. I'm trying to get the fake dad on the field. As they're still sitting here chilling, they're gonna set another, and that's probably that serpent. So now I gotta do it because I got double these things in my hand. I'm just bricking like crazy. Holy smokes! I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna pop this guy. We're gonna bring out this guy. We're gonna bow for you. Attack this thing. It is another Dequoichi. Damn it. So this guy says, during the end phase, if this card destroys a monster by battle this turn, you can send this card to the graveyard, especially someone. Okay, so I can bring out Arm Dragon now, but I'm just gonna get sorked over, which kind of sucks, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway during my end phase. I'm truly, I'm really not trying to put this TT down because they're playing like they have Heavy Storm. They really haven't put too many set spell traps out. So I'm gonna put this thing out. If he snatches, I got dust. If he sorks, so I got tribe and we're gonna keep playing, I guess. But I got him out. I mean, that's the whole point. Happy Father's Day. Okay, he's out. The, the guy's out. The man is here. He has made it. And he's gonna do some damage, it looks like. Let's go. I'm gonna swing in with this thing. I got snatch. I got snatch to beat. I got snatch to beat the uh I might I might go in with this thing. Because I have snatch to beat off beat off. Hey, <laughs> I got yo. snatch to beat back the, the black lost soldier or whatever or the chaos sorcerer that's coming. Or the snatch deal I still got dust. I'ma go in. I'm gonna try to hit in with this thing. He's not he's not spy dueling, so whatever it is, unless it's night ass. Night ass I'm cooked. Saying I'm I'm still cooked. He's about to Sukiyomi me, which is so bad this thing has a thousand defense. It's like what are they thinking with this dude? and 1,000 freaking defense. That is so embarrassing. Just don't suit me, bro. Get something else. D just look past the Tsukiyomi. Just put the Tsukiyomi away. Don't get it. Just bypass. Exile Force It's cool. Okay. He's not Tsukiyomi dueling. He's Exile Forcing, which is fine. I'm cool with Exile Force. As I go main two in phase, I will pass it back on over to my opponent as the dark, the fake dark arm is on the field doing damage. Got in for 28. Air horns. We're going to exile. Probably have to pop this ferocious dark arm dragon, dude. Ferocious wind arm dragon. The wad is on the field. I'm dusting that. Yeah, we're dusting that. Get them out of here, dude. Whatever that is. Just get it out of here. I'm dusting. It's in phase. In phase. End phase. There we go. Cool. They got it. Hopefully they got it. Okay. Draw. Heavy storm. Oh. Dang it, why can't I get a big beefy guy? I don't think I have any beefy guys in this deck. Now that I think about it, I will, um, I will remember you. Uh, let's see, do I just tribute this tribe and just continue to attack? I got Snatch and Heavy, just don't duo me and we're chilling. I got Snatch and Heavy to pretty much, to pretty much counter whatever you got coming back. So I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna hold it and chill. We're gonna hold it, hold out, hold out hope and chill. As they set one, draw a Nova Man. Now we got the baby, baby arm dragon. Again, I know for a fact that you are not, that you are not GK Spy Dueling. I'm gonna summon this thing and I'm gonna try to win with it. Let's go. Sukiyomi is the punish. Suk is the punish and it's not gonna be there. <laughs> there is no Suk. That's just gonna be a GG. That's gonna be a dub. All right, so I'm going second. I'm putting this Morphin Jar in. Okay, I'm putting Morphin Jar in going second and I will actually take out, uh, I'm actually gonna take this thing out because they're not really attacking too much. Uh, I'm gonna swap that in and I'm bringing the Shura Priest in as well. I'm taking out these two of these guys. Yeah, I'll take out two of these guys and then I'm act I really don't like these these guys in there anymore because they got goats. I'm sure goats are there. I didn't see any, but I'm certain that they're there. And we're gonna try this. I'm certain that they're there. Actually, I should probably take some of these traps down too because they are Royal Decree dueling and I know for a fact, just based on the way that they're dueling, that they are not gonna take those Royal Decrees out. I know they're not going to, even though they probably should because I'm not playing that many traps and I am playing more of an aggressive style strategy. So the traps are going to, the, the Royal Decrees, my deck could, my, I, I actually play Royal Decree in the side deck of my deck. So you haven't wrote and I drew this guy again. What are Dueling Book? Everybody, I'm trying to tell you this. You're trying to tell me Dueling Book is not rigged. I've drawn this thing back to back. Okay, I'm telling. Maybe because I had it in the first slot when I was doing the uh, when I was doing the thing in the deck editor. It's in that first slot. I've drawn it back to back. That's two times. Two two games. Two dark arm dragons or whack arm dragons. We're gonna call them wind arm dragon in my hand. Happy Father's Day. He just wants to be a part of the team, bro. You're looking stupid. And you got Misty Storm level two. Get him out of your deck. I'm not setting. I got the GK Spies. That's it. So it's shifting to like a warrior situation here. I'm actually kind of cooked. I'm actually quite cooked. I'm actually quite cooked, I think. 
as we got the flying comic card is looking looking like you're gonna go in i'm a i'm a draw i got my con um that could be magician of faith it could be i think what else they had it had faith in the Koichi. it's worth it i'm gonna rip it it's i'm gonna rip it if it's faith i'm chilling is it Koichi? i'm still chilling um i'll draw declare pot <laughs> cooking <laughs> Thanks, Takoichi. Appreciate your big dog. We're gonna pot it up. One, two. I got brain and I have, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and send the Kamakari. We're sending both. Mirror Force, you'll lose a guy. Mirror Force, you'll lose a guy. They're thinking about it. Call it a haunted. Oof, they cooked. They cooked, not gonna lie. They cooked. I'm gonna have to redeclare to no attack. Go to my main phase two. I'm gonna set both of these because Heavy Storm, you don't, I don't think you play it. I don't think you play it. I really don't think you're going to, I do not think you're going to play it. I don't think you're going to play Heavy Storm. Not with your own Call of the Haunted. I've seen crazier things. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen everything that you can imagine on this GOAT format rated ladder, but I don't think they're going to do it. They got pot. That's cool. I got pot. You got pot. You teach me and I teach you. We're pot gang. Stand up. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Brain, they're brain con dueling as well, huh? Oh, dude, if they sack for Jinzo, I'm cooked. This is a perfect sack for Jinzo, and I think I lose. Just don't sack for Jinzo, bro. Don't not be Jinzo, please, not Jinzo. Oh, Mobius. Okay. Um, that's also quite bad. Brain sack for Mobius is also quite bad. Not gonna lie. Not even gonna lie to you. It'll target both. I'm actually going to have to ring. I'm gonna ring up. Let's think about this for a second. Yeah, I gotta ring the damn. I'm gonna ring the Mobius, man. This is so ass, dude. I got cooked. I am cooked. I am so fried, dude. I am so fried. We lose this too. Shit. Brain, brain sack Mobius. I ain't played into it. I could have put one down, but it's all good. We're still chilling. I'm not dead yet. Close though. Close though. Brain is good. My brain, I got brain. I got, I'm playing brain too. So maybe I can get one as uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the mass dragon. Hmm. Let's think about this for just the briefest of moments. I think what they got in the GUI. They got, okay. So I think I'm gonna have to make this play. It's not the best play in the universe, but it's going to be the play that I have to make in order to, in order to continue to duel. Okay. I'm going to normal summon the mass dragon. Okay. I'm going to brain control. I'll pay 800 ring of destruction looming, taking over DD warrior lady. You brain me. I brain you. I'm gonna go battle. I'll go DD in. We will banish both. Get that out of there. So I will cut your graveyard off. Uh, and then we'll keep bearing down for 14. Okay. Main two. I'll set one and I will pass. Okay. Arm dragon looking miserable. All right. I don't know if call stays there or not. I think it might actually. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Call stays. Thumbs up. Good eye, babe. And they got heavy. Cool. Chain. Do I have anybody here to grab? Nobody there to grab. So they did have the heavy, which is chill. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And they got hammer shot again. I forgot their big city hammer shot dueling. I forgot about that. The tech is in and they got breaker for 19 and that's going to be perfect GG. All right. Cool. 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 I mean, that just happens to do it. I don't know. Brain Mobius got me. He got me. Brain Mobius got me. Not going to lie. Brain Mobius kind of fried me. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take this guy back out, take the Morphin Jar back out. I never drew it, but it's all good. And I'll put the swaps back in because it seems like they're not scapegoat dueling. I thought they were big city scapegoating, but it seems like they're not scapegoating. They're just chilling on, they're just chilling with their, they're just chilling, they're just chilling with their, with their instruments, dude. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here with it. I'm gonna go here with it. They're not scapegoating. I'm gonna keep this one Assure Priest in there to help fuel my, my creature swaps. If I could just stop drawing this damn Arm Dragon, that would be, ideal like i want to take him out like if i could if i could side somebody out it would be his ass but i, I want to take it out but i kind of want to keep it in because that's the whole point of what i'm trying to do if i draw him a third time i'm losing my damn mind all right so hands looking pretty good i got baby i got baby level five i got i'm gonna play this graceful charity because it's looking quite good i'm gonna play it in my main phase of course not my standby phase a little bit of lag one two three all right real kick we'll kick the big boy um we'll kick i could have kept the big boy actually but I got this premature. It's looking quite good. I'm going to kick. Uh, I'll kick the brain too. Why not? I'll kick the brain. I'll set up the dust. I'll set up the shoot. I'll summon the guy right into a hammer shot, dude. I do not care. And we're going to chill. We're going to chill. We're going to chill here. We are going to chill. All right. They go stand by. I'm going to go ahead and shoot. Car's broken. Probably should be banned. No big deal. No big deal. So they do have the hammer shot. That is so damn funny. Uh, they have. I could have set the damn. I could have actually set it because I don't think they're. I don't think they're playing that much no man across out stuff. They got Mobius, Blade, Dequechi, Faith, Hammer Shot. I don't have an answer to the set. Uh, Blade is who cares. Hammer Shot is 
cool. Call is a problem, actually. Call Mobius seems good. Maybe I'll, I'll send back the Faith. Actually, I'm gonna send back the Dekoichi. Faith or Dekoichi? I'm gonna send back the Faith. I'm gonna send back the Faith. Dekoichi, Blade, Hammer, Mobius, Call. I guess I could have sent back the Mobius, but they're about to set this call right into my dust tornado, and I'm just gonna dust it and be fine. Cool, Hammer's cool. No, he's gonna set Dekoichi and set Call. I'm actually gonna break her and just just clean up all this, honestly. I'm a breaker, or I could send this thing in and pre that guy, and maybe I can slice and dice. Maybe I can slice and dice. Man, so many options, dude. This is hard. This is tough. I want to, I actually want to send in the 24 direct, and yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the dust. I could have done an in phase, but it's called a haunted, so I don't really care. Trap dust shoot also probably should be banned. And then I'm gonna send this guy in, boom, and I'm a premature. Boom. So the hand is Mobius and Blade Knight. And I'm gonna bring this guy back and just hope for no heavy storm. If he tops heavy storm and I lose, then I deserve it. I'm a battle. Uh, declare heads. <laughs> All right. Declare. That's destroyed. No effect. Cool. And I'll tackle 24. And then I will further play into the freaking heavy storm, dude. Please just don't draw heavy storm, dude. Please, please just not heavy, dude. That's all I'm asking. Just not heavy. Okay. That's fine. Summon blade, uh, I will call heads. Let's go heads, heads, heads again. Let's go heads, 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 heads. It's tails, I should have picked tails, damn it. Okay, I'll take uh, I'll take the 800, I will pop that, whatever it is, draw. Um, I'll hold on to the tribe, I'll hold on to the tribe. Hand is Mobius, why is he, why? What's up, oh did I not pay? I paid, I paid 800. Put these tokens on, maybe they don't know that I'm cool. All right, so I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna bring this thing out and then I'm going to Battle, I'm attack into this guy. Did I miss a guy that I could have killed with this? Or maybe I have. I'm attack into the, the breaker. I don't I don't remember. That's probably what they're talking about. Maybe I could have upgraded this thing. I totally forgot I have Arm Dragon level seven in my deck. I never played that card. Uh, attack, he lost the damage. Okay, attack direct. And then main two in phase, I'm gonna send this thing to the grave. Send this to the grave. And I got the boy out. I got my boy out. He got a lot of crazy outs that he can draw here. I mean, I mean, I would be surprised if he didn't get an out to this hammer shot. He's they got a, uh, they got hammer shot, snatch deal, chaos, a lot of stuff. They can brick though. I got breaker set up, and they're gonna get the dub. Let's go. Let's go. Armed level seven dragon attack with dragon talent terror. Let's go. Happy Father's Day out there to the goat world. Happy Father's Day. I'm gonna run one more. I'm gonna run one more. This deck is quite bad, but it's not that bad. My opponent. I mean, I think they're a little bit newer. They're still trying to get their goat legs under them. So, you know, I think they could have done some stuff differently. Their deck wasn't as as good as it could have been, but it is what it is, man, it's a ladder. And I think that's still a lot of fun too, just playing what you want and getting out there and having some fun with it. I think that's a that's a part of that's a part of the game. So we'll hop in, we'll see if I can get another one. As I'm playing Pelip, Pelip, I'm gonna six. One, two, three, four, five. I, I get six every time. What, okay, the dice. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And I lost again. Dang, I don't think I, do I ever win this? Do I ever win RPS, dude? Is that something that I can possibly do? I don't think so. It's just my luck. These cameras, something about the cameras. Just don't duo me. I mean, when you're playing these off meta rogue decks and get hit with duo, you just kind of lose. But I do have a swap connection going down with this Mass Dragon, so that's pretty chill. I do have the swap with Mass Dragon. If it's RGT, I don't want to play RGT either. Oh my goodness. I definitely, definitely do not want to play RGT, but we'll see. As they kick Nobleman across out, that's a scary sight. Very interesting indeed. And they got Trap Dust Shoot too. Cool, 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 chill, cool, chill, 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 cool, chill, cool, and chill. What are they gonna send back? Mass Dragon or GK Spy? Mass Dragon or GK Spy? Maybe even Arm Dragon. They send the Mass Dragon. Okay, that's cool. I'm about to play this graceful. Like, like I get, like I'm, I'm about to play this graceful so fast. They might, they might not solemn this thing, but I'm about to rip it though. Five sure, this thing is getting ripped. I will play Graceful Charity. Let's see what they do here. They're not, they're not saying anything. They're not thumbs upping. I'm not getting anything back. Am I good? I'm just gonna start drawing. I'm assuming I'm good. I'm gonna start. There we go. There we go. Maybe a little, la little laggage. A little laggage. I will then. Uh, I'm gonna go discard. I want to keep this creature swap. I want to keep this dust tornado. I want to keep the ring. I want to keep the try. I want to keep all these cards actually, because I really want to set this GK spy, even though they know it's there. But actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick out this guy. I'm gonna kick out the brain play because it's it's there. They are the worst cards here. And then I'm actually gonna set this. I'll set this, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Just in case pro set storm. I don't want to lose to that. But I do want to get this off before I go for my creature swap soon. 
Creature swap is going to happen down the road. It's going to happen, but I got to make sure it's nice, clear. Because creature swap into an RB, I don't want to. I don't want to creature swap into into the blind, into this R set Regeki break right here. And they did discard Nova to cross out. So typically, when people discard Nova to cross out, they have another one. And if you knock my spies, that's bad. But you'll also be losing all your spies as well most times. And again, these little recruiters, man, most of the stats are going to be under that. Uh, 1400 range that they can get to so I can I feel more comfortable if if I, I I feel more comfortable playing turbo when they don't have spies if I don't have spy so I'm I'm fine with this little 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 exchange I'm totally chill with it unless they flip another spy right here which would be quite miserable which very well could be which I think is a misplay I think they should flip the spy and then knock like what are y'all cooking as it's just jar of greed cool as it's just the jar of greed flip faith cool so I could have I could have gone for that creature swap play but it ain't, worth, it ain't worth it as they play graceful charity hopefully there's no uh they don't have like their graveyard is not quite set up yet either so it's not like the most broken as graceful charity yeah they did play it twice but it's not like these insane gracefuls where you're thunder dragon if thunder dragon and knight assailant and serpent aren't involved then you're just drawing cards man and they kick third gk spy and bring out Sangin. so that's another plus so they're getting all their plusing guys cool i'll take the 1300 and then they'll pass probably They'll set one into the known dust tornado. So I'll go ahead and play it. Just just get their bluff. They want to bluff, I'll, I'll play the bluff game. They'll set two. Uh, I'm gonna put this one down. I'm gonna hit the first one. That was probably the accident, accidental set. And it's Ring of Destruction, so they're not bluffing. They're big city, they're big city dueling out here with the damn Ring of Destruction set. So I'm gonna bring this guy out and then we'll go into the Magician of Faith. No need to flip, I'm trying to do some damage. And they have Light and Dark online. So I will go back into my second main phase. I'm gonna set this ring and then I will pass. Cool. Cool. And they get pot two, right on. <laughs> and they got duo as well. That's also cool. Cool, 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 cool. And they'll just have to turtle up. I draw, get to a TT, standby uh, main, battle, attack, uh, declare call heads, is head. So I will pop that with no effect. Okay. And I will go ahead and just end there. Hey, Night Ass is pretty good. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. That is a pretty groovy, groovy hit. They'll set another and they will snatch steal my boy. Okay, I'll give it up and they'll hit me for 12. Cool, that's pretty rough, not gonna lie, but I get a thousand back, so that's cool. And I get this guy again, holy smokes, dude. That feels horrendous. That feels very horrendous. I'll set this and I'm a pad. Oh my goodness, bro, brick on, that's a 15,000 megaton brick. I got MST, it'll target my new set. Very nice. And then they will hit me for 1200. They really should be swinging with this Sangin too. I don't know what they're thinking about over there. It's all good though. Draw. I get to the Arm Dragon level three, which is not great. I get plus thousand. They really should be swinging with this thing. I'm gonna pass again. Just trying to get some cards. Wait for them to start pressuring me. And then maybe I can get to a Heavy Storm. Maybe I can be good enough to draw Heavy Storm. Maybe, maybe I can be good if I can get to Heavy Storm. And there they go, they get the memo. And they'll bring this hanging in. They'll hit me for 12. They'll hit me for a thousand. Maybe I can get Heavy Storm. Maybe I'm good enough to draw Heavy Storm right here. Just maybe, just maybe I'm good enough to get it. Draw, MST, uh, standby, I get a thousand. I can try to get greedy. Um, I could try to get greedy. These two back row cards, I don't know what they could be. Probably something juicy. Look at this graveyard. Oh my goodness, this thing is lovely. Look at my graveyard. <laughs> ass, ass on ass. All right, Um, I can try to get greedy and set this thing and actually uh, go for a, a summon on this thing. This is a super greed play. And hell, I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to get super greedy. They already used their MST. <sighs> Maybe they RB, yeah, damn it, they got me. They RB this thing, <sighs> I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I thought it would be that MST and they do have the serpent as well. Good grief, dude. Good grief, dude. Good freaking googly moogly. I mean, sometimes they got it. Sometimes they got it. Sometimes they don't, man. That's the life. That's the way the world works sometimes. Uh, I will be, I will be MSTing my snatch deal here. I'm gonna MST to snatch deal and get my guy back. That was a plan. And then I could have used a ring and then get my 2400 dude out and probably like sneak up. Just sneak a cheeky game shot in there. But the fates don't, the fates don't allow those types of things to happen to me. Book them on, I'm cooked. Okay, cool. <laughs> This is so much better than Serpent, by the way. I almost played Serpent over this thing. All right, so you take uh, you take 200. What's he trying to get? You already got Serpent. You already got, like, what are you trying to, what are you trying to grab? What are you trying to grab as you crash? You take 200. Night ass. Okay, you gonna roll the dice? You wanna play this game? You wanna roll the dice? You're a gambler. You're, you're a fellow gambler. I'll see somebody likes to gamble. Okay, you got a couple more sets back there. Cool. Knock one time. Duo is horrible. Duo is quite not, not too terrible. I will just uh, try to attack. Declare, I'm gonna declare, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna declare call tails. Oh, hey, 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 RB. Okay, that's cool. RB kick this guy off. 
That is totally cool. Um, main two. I'm just gonna end. I'm just gonna end. I'm gonna I'm gonna end. So they they got the RB off. Serpents in rotation heavy. All right. So his sets one. Sets another. Draw. Minecon. I'm Minecon. I'm Minecon dueling. I'm a Minecon. I'm gonna take the known night ass here. I'm my I'm main deck Minecon dueling. Which main deck Minecon is possibly better than side deck Minecon. But y'all not ready for that conversation. I flip, I'm gonna declare, I'm gonna pop. Please don't be serpent. It can be serpent. Okay, cool. Now, is there is there a world where I just do over one and just get this? It's gotta be a chaos mod at this point, right? It's gotta be BLS. It's gotta be BLS. It's all it can be. That's it. Or snatch. I'm gonna hit him. I'm hitting for do over one. It's not gonna get much better. It's not gonna get much better. I'm gonna hit him for do over one. Thank goodness. Okay, big hit, mega hit, mega hit on the do over one BLS, dude. I'm so with that. I'm so with that. As we go M2, uh, we'll go in phase and we'll give you your garbage back, dude. Take your trash back over to your side of the field. That's why it's dangerous to kind of set just known, like having stuff known, known entities. You got to kind of obscure that stuff some way, somehow. Uh, if he tributes TD here, I might ring it up just to keep that pressure off because I only have 4,100 life and my ring is slowly getting worse. No BLS is pretty chill as they jog. <laughs> Every time I'm looking at this whack arm dragon in my hand, I'm just getting pissed more and more and i got so many bricks coming as they tribute up okay so they will tribute here and uh, i'm waiting for the battle phase and i'm gonna go ahead and grave that thing with the ring that they knew i had i think from earlier on let's see if it goes through cool so they got one more sork that i have to worry about which is so coming like i only got a few cards left so it's just a matter of time it's probably already in hand as a matter of fact as i draw a mass dragon I'm sending them in. I got no choice. I got to start trying to clock up a little bit. Sork is going to be the punish and it's going to be mirror force. Cool. We're saying I got to the grave and pass and Sork normal summon and I lose. Great. Koichi and 14. Cool. Draw. Let me get another recruiter. Okay. We'll go ahead and break her up. Like I said, I'm very, I'm in a very fragile spot. I'll add the one and I need them to break. Draw TT, draw TT, draw TT, draw TT, draw brick. Set Mon. That's not a brick. Knock. Oh, God, Lee. Ugh, damn, I'm breaking too. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to curse a brick onto them, and I'm over here bricking. As they hit the Koichi, um, I guess I could attribute it and brought this thing out. I'm so bad. I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna end. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like to so many things, or so it doesn't matter what I do. I could have brought out Dark Arm Dragon at least. I get a thousand, so that's a little comfort. That's a little creature comfort. I get another thousand. That's a little creature comfort. That's a little comforting. That's a little. That's a little instant instant rebate they said another okay i got breaker all day i'm popping that set as i will stand by main breaker pop like duh like i'm doing that book the breaker okay set freaking flip duh uh we'll bring out the boy battle attack <laughs> oh, please ladder don't do me don't do me like this don't do me like this yes i can yes i can yes i can why can't i why why not why why do you ask, ask the question why do you think i can't okay and it was Mag Magician of Faith. It was Magician of Faith. They're gonna go for Pot of Greed. So they're really digging for this. Uh, they're really digging for their 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 pieces here. And she just got snatched ill and just, you know, chilled, but it's all good. It's all good. I'll attack for 16. Like, why do, why do you think I can't? You can't flip. There is no reason why I wouldn't be able to flip there. Oh my goodness, ladders drive me insane sometimes. So they're on a pot and they're gonna be drawing. I think they should look in the graveyard a little bit more. I think all they need is like Sork, but they've played like all their cards. There's Sork. Okay, so that's their last threat, which I can actually use this dark arm, fake fake arm dragon level five and attack this chaos sorcerer and get the owner oh, mind. I'm dead, but they're about to, they're about to fumble the bag, dude. They're about to fumble the bag. They're about to fumble the bag. Watch this. They're about to fumble. They're about to fumble the bag. What's he calling? They're about to do it. I'm a shark him too. I'm sharking. I'm sharking here in the free world. Usually I don't shark, but I'm a shark. Dang, they got on. They got the message. <laughs> they got it. Okay. Okay. That's where I'm a shark. Okay. No problem. No problem. MP, MP, man, MP. I was about to shark, dude. I was about to shark so bad. Oh my goodness. I was about to shark. They crash. Okay. Main two, banish. Brain con and I win. Brain con and I went. I played. I played two brains. I played art one already. I got mad outs, dude. I have so many outs here, and I'll banish my guy. I got freaking outs, dude. Give me one. You're kind of one, sort of. You're kind of one adjacent, but not really though. You're kind of sort of one, depending on what they get. And this freak. How many regret breaks have you played? One, two, MST. All right. So you're kind of sort of one. I'm gonna end. Unless you got. Unless you have three regret break dueling. Heavy storm dueling. Yeah. Damn it. Do I got sang in here? No, and they got breaker too. Yeah, I lose. I lose. Oh well. GG. I have to go, but GG. I'll take the I'll take the uh 23. And they just leave and dude, that's the ladder. I was cooked. I think I honestly, 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 
And I'm actually going to end the... I'm going to probably... I suck that because I have to leave as well. I have some stuff I have to take care of too. But shout out to my opponent. I think... I Honestly, I think if we can play another game, I think I can beat this guy. I think I can beat this duelist. I really do. And I never feel that way. But my... I mean, they were just getting the units that they needed at the right time. They were time... Like all the way down to the last card. To that heavy storm being there. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. But I'm actually have to end. I'm actually have to, unfortunately I'm gonna have to end this uh, end this video like this because I actually have to take care of some stuff too. But I still think it's pretty cool. And I want to go ahead and uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna hang out here for a second. I will say that there are several events that are happening in the near future. The next major goat format tournament online is going to be the goat format championship European edition is going to be on July the 13th. So come on out and play in that tournament. Also, there are other GGPs coming up the, the week of uh, we have the goat Grand Prix in Detroit is happening next weekend, as well as goat Grand Prix in uh, LA is going to be on July the 13th. And also we have Goat Grand Prix in Seattle is going to be on July the 27th. So I hope to see you guys all there. I'll be in July. I'll also be in Orlando on August the 17th. And if you guys like these videos, man, please make sure that you are engaging with the likes and with the comments, because that is what's going to determine the videos that I continue to make. Uh, granted, playing on the ladder isn't the most you know, meta breaking stuff, but it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time doing it and I'm able to showcase some decks and hopefully some newer players can learn some things along the way and become better duelists. But if you like this thing, make sure you turn your notification bells on, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and let me know. As always, duelists, I'm JDZ. I play goats. Happy Father's Day to all the goat dads out there. Until the next time, shout out to all the real ones. Salute to your G's. Peace.